Okay, we're back again. We have a Mantis Q with an $80 battery, 2800 milliamp, um, LiPo high voltage, and this is a $15 uh, 3000 milliamp, and it's a high voltage also. So, see, they're pretty similar in size. We have this kit here. We're going to um, just snaps right on in place of the battery. Nice click. Put the battery in. And as it gets in closer, you'll feel like it's tight and it'll lock in. I like things that just snap in and lock in. Just move this little balance cable out of the way. Plug this in, and you're ready to go. That's a $15 battery. And versus your $80 battery. So let's go ahead and show you how. There's one thing you need to install on this, and it comes with the kit. Let's take the battery out of here. It's right here. This is a compass relocator. Two pieces. What it's gonna do is it's gonna go on the bottom, back here, and we're gonna move the compass out from the inside and into this relocator. Um, this thing will also, help with all compass errors that even with the stock battery but if you're using this battery it's highly recommended that you put this compass relocator on so this whole video is not going to be how to use the battery it's mainly going to be how to relocate the compass okay so basically the tools you're going to need is a drill bit get one that's going to be fitting the size of that square right there right pretty close to the size of that square one small Allen tool that's going to fit these little Allen screws and some tape and then uh, included with your with this kit is going to be this picture here and this picture because there's so many small screws in here we're going to tape the screws as we remove them we're going to tape them to this picture in the location because there's so many different sizes we want to make sure we get them into the same location we took them from so, okay, so I'm just going to take this off of here. We're going to start by uh, taking these screws out of the back. Okay, both of these screws coming out. I'm going to bring them over here, right where they came out of. I'm going to tape them down with a piece of tape. I know it's going to look ugly, but we don't want to, we don't want them rolling around, get lost. Ooh, piece of tape, piece of tape, very simple. Next, uh, I don't see any more screws on this side, so we're going to flip it over. Okay, well, I forgot to mention, you're going to need a small screwdriver. Here's a screw here. So evidently it alternates between screws and Allen screws. So we'll take these out on both sides. Okay, then these two screws, I'm flip the picture over to be this one here. They came from right in this area on the bottom. So I'll go ahead and tape them there. This is just, like I said, this may seem futile, but when you're looking for these screws later, trying to figure out which hole they go in, it's gonna save us a lot of trouble. Once those come out, that actually helps us to be able to remove this cover here on the front. Just pop it right off. Make sure you come off pretty easy. And then we'll notice that it's hooked by a wire. This is actually the compass, or not the compass, this is the GPS module inside of here. So I'm going to just take my screwdriver and kind of pry out the connector out of the board. Okay, there's the board. There was actually a piece of um, aluminum, well not aluminum, copper shielding. Here I just kind of bent that back a little so I could get to the connector and pop the connector out of there. There's the connector. Later on, we're going to have to squeeze that connector back in when we put it back together. When we get underneath, there's just going to be more screws under here. I'm going to take these two out. And I did drop one, so I'm going to have to find it. Okay, I'm going to take these screws and put them 
They were kind of in the front there. Wait. On this side, underneath in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and tape them down up here. So we will remember that they came from there. There we go. I'm kind of clumsy. Yeah, I'll get some more tape. One tape for each one. Okay. Very small still. Okay, now that those are out, you'll see there's these are kind of hidden ones. Right here is one, and directly across from it there's one. So we'll take those out. There's one, and the other one. A very good cameraman here, That's patient to zoom in like that. So I'm gonna, that one would be with the top, it's gonna go right here. Of course, under the cover. And again, we'll tape those down. You don't not want to go under that tape and like run from it. Okay, those are taped there so that when we get back, we'll know where to find those. That should be enough. Oh, there's two more. Now I want to flip it over. I've just flipped it over. I'm on the back, right by these arms. You got to take these two out in the back here. One, two. This should give us enough. Yeah, I see it's, yeah. Okay. Take those. You can see in the picture, there's a little spot where they actually show up in the picture a little bit. And take those down. Now we can go ahead and begin taking the, the bottom of this off. In a way, it's sort of snapped on after the screws come off. There's these little buttons here that we're going to need to push back at the same time we're, we're pulling it off. So, all right, I just got my finger in the front here and kind of pulled this front back. See how it's starting to come down? You'll see a little gap going here. You're going to have to push this button to get that out. And then another button here to get the other one out. Not really a button, but a little, like a hook with a button on it. See that little thing there? So we do that. Do that on the other side. And oh, the whole thing just came off. I didn't have to push the buttons on the other side. There we go. We'll set that one aside. Now we're finally to the part where we can move the compass out. There's one little screw here and another one. I'll just take it off now. This is the, the antenna for your Wi-Fi signal. It's just stuck on here in the corner, but you have to get it up because there's a screw underneath here. So we're going to get this screw, these two screws off. Okay, so take these two screws. Here they are, tiny little screws. Take them out and get this cover off. It, yours won't look like this. See these wires cut here? I extended it. And that was until I got this wire ordered. That's what we're going to put in here. So yours is just going to come out and connect straight into there. So this compass, you can unplug it. The, the wire, which is, it ends up going underneath there, and just pop this compass off of here. This is the part that's going to go into the relocator. For the relocator, it's going to go right in here, and it's actually still sticky enough, it'll stick right in there. As you can see, there's little grooves here that kind of hold it in place, because we wouldn't want it, like, maybe when it gets warm, the sticker might allow it to st spin a little. It's important that this stays just the way it is. So then there's a circuit board here. Well, let's take these screws and put them over here. This part goes here, those screws go there. We're gonna tape those down. Those are so small. Don't wanna lose those. Okay, next 
There's two screws back here that hold this circuit breaker on, or circuit board. I don't know if you can zoom in close enough. There's one right in the back here. And one right in the back here. I already took that one out. And we're going to get this last one. When it comes out, we'll just take the circuit breaker, or circuit board, lift it right out of there. And we'll pick up our screws too so we don't lose those. There's one screw and the other one I'm going to have to just kind of shake it out of here. Okay. Two screws. You know those are the, I'll just leave them sitting there. Those are the last screws. We're going to put them right back in. Now you'll see these wires here. Like I said, it, this was all connected as one. And we're just going to unplug this connector here. You could probably yank it out, but just pry it out. So there we go. This is the piece. I'm gonna take the scissors here. I added these wires on before. This is what your wire will look like when it comes out. This short little wire. We're gonna be replacing it with this longer wire. So we'll just take that, set it aside, and put this long one in there. Plug that in, get it close, and then just push it in with the screwdriver. Okay. Okay, now let's go to go to this. We're, just before we put it back together, there's going to be a hole we're going to drill here, and that's what the drill was for. So we're going to take this compass and put it in place the way we're going to want it. We might even want to put this top on it just to get an idea. Get it all spaced so it's just on the edge in the back there. And then, then I'm kind of sticking it on there a little bit. Those the stickers that it came with. And then I'm going to take the drill. And we're going to at least get it marked here. Okay. We started drilling a little bit. So I'm going to take this back off. And we'll finish drilling that hole there. Okay. Alright. I, I just real quick cleaned up the area from the mess that we drilled. There's the hole we're going to drill. And before we get too far, let's double check and make sure that we can get that through. Look, it doesn't fit that way, but if you lean it, you might be able to force it through there. If not, take your drill and just edge it sideways just so not a little bit. Make it a little bit oval of the hole and then we'll get it through there. There we go, it fits. Of course, I just put it through the wrong way, but let's get it back out of there. Got to lean it to the side. Okay, now we're going to get back to the, here. We're going to put the circuit board back in. And it's on these little stands here. Actually, it seems like it has rubber hold downs on it. And the two screws, the last two screws we took out, we're going to put those back in. This is kind of a tricky part, trying to get these screws in there. Cause these are so hard to get in, I'm just going to hold the board up here, put them in, and then we'll set the board down there and screw them down. Put both these screws in here. Let gravity help us here, and we're going to bring it down into position. And then put the screws in. That made it a lot easier. So we'll get this end of the circuit board screwed down. Okay, yeah, that this screw was a little hard to get in there, but how whatever it takes to get it in there, you guys. Put that one down, get it tight. That one down. Next, um, we're gonna go ahead and put the this plate back on, and we're not putting the compass. Underneath it, 
Oh, that was the compass that used to be stuck down here, and this was plugged into it. So. Put that down here, we'll put those same screws that we took out. We marked that those screws were these two. Or are they these two? No. These. And... Another hard one to do. Okay, there's another one where we probably want to put the screws in. Out here, this stuff is so tiny. And of course, I have like massive fingers. Okay, get the screw started on that before you even set it down on there because it's so hard to line up those holes. At least we know we got the right screws because we're using. A little paper with the photos on it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one in. Oh, it goes in there so much easier that way. Put those screws down. Now the screws don't go real tight because this the circuit board is mounted with rubber mounts. I believe these are ultrasonic sensors. And they want to isolate it from the vibration of the rest of it. So we're moving along here. We let's go ahead and stick this Wi-Fi antenna or radio antenna right in the same spot we took it off of on this corner here. It sticks down just like a sticker. Okay. Then we're gonna go ahead and do this final part here where we can stick this through. Like I said, on an angle, get it through that hole. And then we'll put the top back on here. It all kind of snaps back in place the same order that we took it off. These things gotta go into there. And then... Like it reminds me of a phone, how they snap together. There we go. Once, then get make sure these lock in here, on both sides. This one's locked in really good. This one's like it's. There we go. All nice and tight all the way around. The only difference is now we have this wire coming out. We'll just shorten up this video by, we're going to plug this in, stick it down. It'll come with a little part that you peel off here. We're going to stick this down. Okay, so we're going to stick this down here with this in. We're not going to need this much wire. So I'm going to go ahead and try to push some of this wire back in. Okay, we got most of it back in there. Um, make sure we plug this in right. It looks like it's opposite of the way we got it here. I think it's going to be easier if I don't have this on here. Like I said, it's just, just stuck on it with that sticker. So, I'm going to go through here. Make the connection. Plug it in all the way. Stick that down on here. Make sure it's in there right. Push it down real tight. And then, since I got all the sticky stuff off of there, we'll line it up. Um, I'm going to double check with the full cover on there. Make sure I got it where I'm going to want it finally. In the final. Okay, and just press it down nice and tight, squeeze it for a little bit, and then 
Okay, here we're going to give you a shot straight down so you can see just about where that goes in relation. You have to have it a little bit away from the edge because the cover, thickness of the cover when it goes on there. Okay, so now it's in there right. I'm just going to once again push it down nice and tight on there. This cover here, and the, like I said, I like things that snap on. It snaps on there. And you could wiggle it back and forth and pull it off. But otherwise it snaps on. That's all we need there. It reassembles the reverse. We got our chart here to show us where, where all the screws came from. We're going to put all the screws, these screws in, flip it, over, flip it over, put all these screws in that are under the cover. We're going to plug this back in, put that on, and there'll be the two last screws under here that'll go in. Okay, this one is one of the tough ones. You gotta kinda hold the cover up real close. And then you gotta lift that plug. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to see in there, but lift that plug, get it close to that GPS module connector. I don't wanna make this video too long, but. And then you can plug it in, there we go. Go back and forth, keep pressing each side till it's all the way in there. Then if you can, just kind of stick that tape back down a little bit. Don't have to be on there perfect. Then we can snap the front back on. And from this point, I've only got a few, few screws left to put in. It's amazing how it reminds me of putting a cell phone together. So there's these two tiny side ones. We're gonna go in here. There's one. And then in the back we got those two bigger ones in the back. With the Allen. Okay, all right, then the same thing, we'll put those two, this small tiny one, the Allen here, and everything will be back just the way it was originally, but you now have this compass relocation adapter added to it, which will eliminate, which many people are having, they start flying a little and it starts saying compass needs calibrated. Well, this will put an end to all of that. And now that you have that, you can use this new adapter here, which you can find on eBay. And just snaps, I love the snap. Pops right in. There is a little push button here. You've got to push on that and take it out. Now, with the battery in, you can't push that button and you can't take it out. So you're not gonna be able to take the whole thing off like you do this battery where you push those and take the whole thing off. You're going to have to take the battery out first and then push the button and take it out. Small price to pay for $15 batteries that are 3000 milliamp versus the 2800 milliamp ones that are $80. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any suggestions for basically any unique products, um, I've got a Q500, uh, Typhoon H, and now this mantis um let me know and i'll try to make something up for you thank you